Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how we can extract KML data from a study area by using Google Earth. Then convert it to latitude, longitude, altitude as you see. After that, we convert it to testing x northing y altitude z by using ArcMap. Let's do it. First, uh, from Google Earth, you can search for your study area. For example, RD Iraq. Okay, here my study area. First, I have to get uh, KML data. How you get from this icon at path? Name it Capran. Okay, Capran study. Then is this one to here? Then you see that's all the points I have. Yes, that's Capran study area. Right click. Save place as KML. Be careful, you have to change this one to KML. And desktop, I provide a new folder. Get XYZ. Save. Okay, then from Google, search for GPS. Visualize the elevation. Here we have to add elevation. GPX. Choose file. Desktop. Get XY. Capran study open. Convert and add elevation. Okay. Download. Okay. GPS. Show in folder. Name it. X Y Z G P X okay that's my folder uh, you can download T C X T C X converter download T C X converter download it is a free uh, software you can download it I put the link also in the description of the video but I already have this uh, software. So just I here write TCX converter. That's my program. X Y Z G P X is open here. Here we G, uh, we converted this file to latitude and longitude as you see here, and we have to download C S V S. Go to desktop. Okay. Lat long. CSV okay save and press yes to use semicolon as cell separator yes okay now we downloaded this one go your, to your uh, folder open it yes now select this to coordinate lat and long control shift down arrow control copy Control B, file, save as, browse, find your folder in desktop, get XY, call it CSV study area, change the file to CSV MS DOS, save. Yes. Open uh, arc map then from file add data add xy data from here i already uh, connected the folder if you don't connect it you can connect your folder from here that's my data csv study area add then long lat from here you can add geographic coordinate system wgs geographical coordinate system then word then WGS 1984 okay okay yes now I got all the pointers then from here right click data export data select the folder 
my folder is I want to save this data in this one study area area save okay do you want to add the exported data to the map yes okay now from arc tool focus data management tools projection and transformation select project okay drag this study area okay select it output coordinate system project coordinate system utm wgs north my study area located in 38 north so i choose this one it depends on your study area okay and output data set or feature class uh, pro provide the folder projected study area save okay it's created i don't need this one more so bring it projected study area shape file save add okay now you can remove this one also remove this one right click open attribute table from here you can add uh, a new field easting change this one to double okay then right click calculate geometry yes x coordinate okay then add another field northing change this one to double okay right click calculate geometry yes change to y coordinate okay yes now you can export this data export all recorders to get xy make xy study area uh, but uh, let me select the type I select a text file ok yes now I can go back to my folder desktop mm. yes X, Y study area. Open it. That's my folder. You can control A, control copy, go to your Excel, open new one, control B. Here you see all the uh, columns are separated by semicolon. So easily go to this column and from data, uh, data, text to column delimited next semicolon next finish yes you see i got my easting northing or x y you can select this one control shift it control copy open another for uh, open another sheet control v x y also you can bring it your altitude control copy can come to here control B that's your data that's X is thing north thing altitude elevation that's all I hope it can be helpful have a nice time